Hey everyone, this is Grace, and I want to come on here and very quickly share with you um, the envelopes that I made for Easter. Now, I've already given my sister the envelopes for the children's, but um, let me first share with you. Um, what I did was, May May made it, I think this was the March release? No, this was the February release, I believe. And it was so crazy because mine um, didn't ship or it shipped but got lost maybe. I never received it. So literally I waited about a month and then I contacted them and then they were, you know, very good about, you know, shipping it out immediately. But the reason why I wanted this one in particular was because I had this in mind to create. So I wanted to do the stained glass stamping. And you guys can tell because I was using my acrylic block and I was kind of going fast you know there are imperfections but I think that's fine too because it gives it that kind of rustic look too right anyway so these are the Easter envelopes and you guys know um, I just take these regular what is it studio G or studio art envelopes from 99 cents only and I just you know once a month I'll stamp the new month's um, envelopes but since this Sunday is Easter. I wanted to make sure that I had a special envelope just for Easter. So use that. So it's kind of a cool thing. You stamp this and then these are the individual things that color that. And then they have other sentiments, but I didn't want to use the sentiment and then the cross I used in yellow. Now the He Lives, actually some of you may recognize that particular sentiment from the Bow Bunny Rejoice stamp set that I picked up recently and so there it is and I thought that instead of writing offering he lives would be a nice way to remind the children and the youth that um, Easter we celebrate because Jesus has resurrected so he lives and he's not dead but he lives so anyway just wanted to share this with you um, because this is probably the extent of my crafting <laughs> No, actually, I take that back. I will be crafting a little bit because of the um, totes or baskets that I make for the youth kids. Um, but it's kind of weird. I'm doing things in waves. So the Easter um, offering envelopes I wanted to make today. And then um, Saturday is the Easter egg decorating with the youth kids for the whole entire church. And then Sunday morning is when I'm going to be assembling the youth's um, totes. So I know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> and in between and this whole weekend, I have all this grading I need to get done. So anyway, um, just wanted to share this with you. Um, you know, I just came back from Good Friday service. It was a very good, good reminder of just, you know, what Jesus did on that cross for us and why Easter is such a wonderful thing. So anyway, take care, everyone. I just wanted to share with you what the Easter envelope looked like. So, And actually, you know what? Leave me a thumbs up if some of you guys would like to see a monthly um, video of what my... Um, youth offering and the children's offering envelopes look like. So, all right, take care everyone. Bye.